So I'm going to be talking about what level curves and surfaces are. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to make other videos that describe what the curl of a vector field is. And I want to use uh, the, def the definition of a level surface in that video. So this is kind of like a preliminary video. So begin with, how do you define a level curve? A level curve is simply defined as setting a function of two independent variables equal to some constant. Now, we can visualize what this means by setting z, and z being the uh, third Cartesian coordinate, equal to the function of f of x, y. And again, uh, x and y being the independent variables. So if we plot z equals f of x, y, we get a surface defined by the x, y plane. In this example here, we have a paraboloid. And the reason this is called a paraboloid is if you were to slice uh, this function vertically. So that means that you would set uh, either y equal to 0 or x equal to 0. So you'd be looking at the function in the x, z plane or the y, z plane. You would get, for example, z equals y squared, and that is a parabola. And you can do that with any uh, plane that is independent of z. So we take this, para uh, this paraboloid, uh, this function of two variables that z is equal to, and we set it equal to a constant. Now, just without even thinking about what this means, we can see here that we have the equation of an ellipse. If you divide the entire equation through by c, you get x squared over 3c plus y squared over c, and that is obviously the equation of an ellipse with the uh, a and b terms corresponding to the lengths of the uh, semi-major and major axes being defined by 3c and 3. Um, so if we just look at this, not looking at it under a microscope, we just get uh, various different ellipses uh, defined by the by setting z equal to different constants. So if I set z equals to 1, uh, you get an ellipse with some dimension. If I set z equal to 2, I get another ellipse with different dimensions. And if I set z equal to 75,000, I get yet another ellipse uh, that has another different dimension to it. So without uh, going that much further into it right now, we see here that if I set the paraboloid equation equal to 1, 2, and 3, and then plot the ellipses in the xy plane, we get three different ellipses with different dimensions, as I said before. Uh, taking this at face value, this is what a level curve is. So I set the function of two variables equal to some constant, and I look at the corresponding relationship between the independent variables. So in this case, when I'm using the three Cartesian axes, z being the function of two variables, and uh, x and y being the independent variables, I simply just plot the relationship formed by setting z equal to some constant in the xy plane. Now we want to ask, what does that actually mean? Like, oh, why is this important? What, what does it correspond to? Well, what's actually being done here is considering the intersection between the paraboloid and various uh, planes defined by z equal to some constant. So you have to think of it this way. If I have the paraboloid, so z equals um, x squared over 3 plus y squared, and I plot that, and then I plot a plane such as z equals to 1, z equals to 2, or something like that, and I look at the intersection between the plane and the paraboloid itself, the intersection would be the same ellipse plotted in this figure right here. So I if I look at the intersection between the plane z equal 1 and the paraboloid, it would be the first ellipse in the center here. That would be the intersection curve. So then I'm going to like uh, show this in a better visualization so it's not just me talking about it. We see here we have the paraboloid plotted. So the function of two variables is being plotted in three space. And then I plot the uh, plane z equals 1. 
Now we look at the intersection between the plane z equal 1 and the paraboloid. We can obviously see that's an ellipse, but that is the same ellipse that corresponds to the uh, first ellipse being plotted in this figure, or the most central ellipse. So then if we plot the other three planes, we get three different intersection curves in different z planes. So, and again, with these uh, intersection curves defined in these different planes, we get the same ellipses that are plotted in the xy plane here. So what level curves actually are, uh, corresponding to a function of two variables or a function being plotted in uh, a surface being plotted in three space, is actually a superposed uh, set of intersection curves defined by intersecting various uh, planes with the surface itself. So again, if we go back to the original one and we look here, this is all we're doing right here is looking at the intersection curve between the surface and the plane z equal 1, the surface and the plane z equals to 2, and the intersection between the plane z equals to 3 and the paraboloid. That's what a level curve is. And that's going to help kind of visualize what uh, the corresponding level surface is for a function of three variables. So what about a function of three variables? Now we can't draw the exact same analogy because that would require us to plot the function against the three Cartesian axes. If we were to do that, we'd need a fourth mutually orthogonal uh, axis to the three Cartesian axes. And we just can't draw this. This is four dimensional space and we can't even visualize it really. Uh, however, as before, if we set the function of three variables equal to some constant, if we set the function of three variables equal to some constant, we can look at the relationship formed by the three independent variables x, y, and z, and then plot that in three space. So uh, going back to the level curve thing, uh, what we did is we set z equal to some constant and plotted a intersection curve in three dimensional space in two dimensions. So we took a intersection curve that happened in uh, the three space and we just plotted that intersection curve in the xy plane. So then now it's in two space. So the same corresponding thing that we're doing here is taking a function of three variables which, is, which exists in four space, setting equal to a constant and plotting that relationship in three dimensional space. So for the example I have here, I have the equation of a sphere. Uh, and it's not really a sphere, it's like something in four, four dimensions, uh, a four-dimensional a four something. But when we set f equal to some constant, we get the equation of a sphere with uh, centered at the origin with radius the square root of c. So here if, if we see if we set f equals to 9, f equals to 16, f equals to 25, we get three spheres of different radii. And these are the level surfaces of the function of three variables equal to x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And again, what this actually corresponds to is the intersection of a plane in four-dimensional space defined by uh, if there were a fourth mutually orthogonal axes, a plane defined by, let's call it W. So like the, uh, the fourth axis would be called W. W equals to some constant, which would be a plane in four dimensional space. And the level curves that we see here are the intersection between those planes and the function of three variables itself. Just as the same case with uh, the function of two variables. It's much harder to visualize here, but that's what it is. We're really looking at intersection curves in four-dimensional space and then plotting them, superposing them in three-dimensional space. Hopefully that helps explain what a level curve and a level surface are, and they're going to be important for uh, the next couple videos I'll put out that explain what uh, the curl of a vector function, uh, vector field is.